video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on some products that I've used for three months that have vitamin C and retinol in it and I wanted to talk about my results so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so you all know that I try a lot of products on this channel and I come to you all and I tell you what I think about them if they work etc etc I've used these three products for three months and what initially drew me into wanting to use these products is the fact that it has retinol and vitamin C and as far as retinol is concerned sometimes there is a bit of confusion between retinol and retinoids retinols are certain um, you can't get over the counter and and they're all a derivative of vitamin A and um, you will hear some people say that the combination of the two retinols and vitamin C serves as a powerhouse it's really gonna get in there do what you need it to do and make you have beautiful skin you, you know how it goes all of these are supposed to help with hyperpigmentation dark spots fine lines and wrinkles and things like that and I wanted to try it I have the strabectin uh, what is this? This is the multi action moisturizer, and this one has uh, SPF of 30 in it, as well as the vitamin C. So, if you're a bit of a minimalist and you don't like having a product for vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, or whatever it is, pick a product that has everything in it and you, you'll be through. So, uh, that's the moisturizer, and I also tried the serum. Okay, same thing vitamin C has retinol attached, and they have a eye cream. I have hyperpigmentation right along here under my eyes and uh, on my forehead out of the three I will have to say that the eye cream I haven't seen a difference although I honestly feel as though three months for an eye cream is definitely for me I'm learning it, it just takes my skin a little bit longer so the jury is still out on this one I can't say that these two products um, Faded my you know issues along my chin or my forehead I can say that uh, the health of my skin remained consistent so I didn't get any weird rashes also uh, these particular products work really well under makeup so as far as the cream is concerned it is on the thicker side here it is right here and it's really thick as you can see I typically like to use this moisturizer at night only because it's so thick I will use it in the day but I'll put on a very thin layer of it so as far as the serum it does have a dark orange consistency as you can see uh, for a serum I think that that's a nice consistency now what I will say about both products I don't uh, smell a fragrance per se I do smell you know something so it's not one of those products where you're just not gonna have any scent at all you're definitely gonna smell something and but I would say it's like on a level two I don't think that they put fragrance in here I have to check and I'll let you know on the screen will I continue to use it definitely because I feel like my skin is thriving on it and sometimes products just take a little bit longer to work there's nothing wrong with that in combination of lifestyle you know um, if you take care of what you eat uh, if you exercise etc etc all of that plays a role you know if you're stressed or you know that's going to play a role I recently this has nothing to do with the skincare that I'm talking about, but that was uh, probably a month or so ago. I was stressed, and I, I was stressed out about something, and it just will cause you to get a breakout. It will cause you to get bumps, or what you know, just whatever. So I'm saying all that to say that when you're trying something new, give it time to work, and just consider other things that are going on in your life when evaluating whether skincare products work. If you all are interested in buying this, I saw on May that they're having a friend sale because these little boogers can be pretty pricey and always remember when you're going or when you're looking for your vitamin C make sure you pick a quality vitamin C make sure that it's housed in a dark bottle or something where light can't show through store it in a you know a dark cool place etc etc just just be careful when you're buying your vitamin C because because it's pricey and when you buy your products you want them to work so anyway that concludes the video let me know down in the comments if you've tried this if you've considered or if you don't or you know just let me know I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches